Today I'm going to show you how to use a program called WebSpy in cooperation with EaterCap to uh, follow someone's uh, web surfing. If they're surfing on your local network and it will bring those pages that they're viewing up real time in your Firefox browser. Uh, so we have Firefox open in the background, that's my default browser. And then in the terminal window, I'm going to do sudo EaterCap dash capital T for text, lowercase q for quiet and M for mode and we're going to do ARP remote mode and then we're going to do dash I for interface. My interface is ETH0 ETH uh, and that's on my computer with my network card may vary depending on what network device you're using. Then I'm going to put in the IP address of the router default gateway. Then I'm going to put in the IP address of my wife's computer and I'm going to start up EaterCap that way. And once that's going, we can now in a ter another terminal window do sudo webspy dash i for interface and my interface and then her IP address so it knows to look for web traffic from her IP address. I'm going to hit enter there to start that up and I'm going to ask her to start surfing the internet, do a Google search and start clicking on links. And now as she does this, you'll see that we start getting tabs opening up in our window of what she's looking at. Uh, it's not a perfect science. Uh, one of the problems we may have is that um, it's sending the IP address instead of domain name, so it may send us to the wrong place for a lot of links. And uh, also, since we're packet sniffing, we're going to be dropping some packets, so we may miss some pages. But as you can see, we're following what she's doing. Some of the pages are coming up. You can see she's looking at things about micro pigs here. And there's another page. Some of them are coming up so fast that I can't even keep up with them. Um, and you can see probably two thirds of the pages are uh, 404 errors, uh, which is just gonna happen because of the whole IP address instead of domain name thing. Um, Okay, Jennifer, you can stop now. Uh, but if we go back through, you can see some of the pages that she was viewing. As uh, and we were seeing them real time. And so, as I said, you know, we missed out on some of them, but you know, a third of them we were able to see the pages she was looking at. Um, now, I do want to show you something you should not do. A mistake I made the first time I ran this program. And that was surfing my own, or surfing, sniffing my own uh, surfing escapades. So what I'm going to do is, uh, you don't even have to run EaterCap if you're running on your own machine because you can grab the network, the files from your own machine without running EaterCap. But I'm just going to switch sudo webspy to my own IP address. And then I'm going to do a search for Linux. And right away, you can see it starts opening up tabs, and it just keeps on opening up the same page of Linux.com as it's going, because it's just seeing that I'm going there and reopening and reopening it. And we have to control C this, but it's hard because the browser keeps grabbing focus. Um, so don't sniff your own uh, web surfing with WebSpy, or else you get caught in an endless loop like that. But that's a quick look at WebSpy in cooperation with EaterCap. I hope you find it useful. As you saw in the tutorial, it's not perfect, but it's useful. And I hope you give it a try. Have a great day and visit bashscripts.info for more information.